So what we've got here, as it is I'm sure all of you will recognise, or most of you will, and the person who owns it certainly will, uh, this is a Bush SRP31C uh, record player from the 1960s and the issue this has got is the the auto changer doesn't work and the amplifier is low in volume but guess what it's been serviced and that's how the guy got it back with low volume and well the auto changer worked and uh, when he brought it here today I tried it, I tried it while he was here uh, and it didn't work so at least the mat hasn't turned to shite anyway let's uh, let's plug this uh, let's plug the animal in and have a look alright let's put it on, we're already switched on uh, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll be daring, we'll, we'll go for full volume. Now, let me get my test record. Right, so we want... We want... 33 and a third, or if you're in Ireland, that would be 33 and a third. Right, so... What we'll do, we'll try the automatic mechanism. Because it wouldn't work earlier. it still doesn't work so what we'll do we'll drop that by hand there we go we'll assume that it's dropped it and what we'll do we'll oh I've got the arm yeah and what we'll do we'll wiggle the arm about to make it look like it's actually doing something and what we'll do we'll drop the arm onto the record yeah. Yeah, put a cheap stylus in that and I'll right And this is, we're pushing the boat out here, this is full volume. And if we move the arm to the end, It's trying, but it's not working. Anyway, so what we'll do, we'll stop that. Uh, and if I put it on manually. Uh, no. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the head shell. Uh, and that will protect the customer's cartridge. That will stop the customer's cartridge getting damaged then and his stylus. So what we'll do, we'll put, oh, let's turn it off, right, so I need to examine the auto changer and let's lock the arm down, just to be safe, I know it's no cartridge in it, but still lock it down anyway, it's good practice. Now pull the plug out, now basically he's had this in for servicing uh, with someone in Preston. Uh, and uh, uh, and the guy who did it didn't really do a good job. And uh, I know young George lives up Preston, and it wasn't him. Uh, make that quite clear. Uh, because I asked him who the engineer was, and he told me, but. I'm not ready to name and shame him just yet. We'll save that. Anyway, uh, I'll, put, I'll bring you back when I get it apart. I'll just get the front off and uh, get, get the iron heated up because I need the iron to the, desolder the input wires and stuff. So, so we'll get the iron heated up. There we go. Bring the iron. Hang on. We're, uh, we're caught up here with the iron. There we go. Move the meter. And... Right, the stuff that we're going to need for this is a test meter, screwdriver, nut spinner, 
capacitor testers. Uh, I've got the capacitor testers in that case there. Put them over here for now. I don't need them just yet. Now the bloke who did this, uh, manual for the garad. I've already printed this off in advance because I knew this was coming in. And the manual for the SRP31 itself. So we are prepared so I can go through I can go through this unit and uh, what I'm gonna start by doing I'll start by getting the start by getting the amplifier out and once I've got the amplifier out I'll come back folks and uh, we can look at the amplifier on the bench together. I'll just get it apart, I'll be back in a minute. Hey right, folks, uh, we're back. Uh, that's the amplifier out of the cabinet. Now, let's see what's. Let's pull the valves out. Don't need those in there. Uh, let's put them safe. Uh, right, well, there's a little cunt capacitor there. That hasn't been replaced. He's supposed to have done the capacitors. He hasn't done that one, so that'll need to be done. I need to look at the circuit and see what the value of that is. And you've got the rectifier here. Uh, what I need to do is, before I do anything, uh, I'm not getting bit again. And no, I'm not getting fucking bit again, folks. Heat shrink that fucker onto there. There we go. Find another one for the other side. That way. We know the fucking mains is fucking isolated, or relatively anyway. They go to power the motor for the record player for the actual deck. We don't need those, but we are going to need to reconnect them, so I'm just going to just going to shrink the fucking wires, shrink them onto it. There we go. Not that a bit and I can twist that together at all. There we go. Right. Right, let's see what's... Right, so it's put 47 UFs in here. Right. 50 volts, 400 volts, yeah that's about right, just check them, yeah, that's done right, one here. Yeah. Yeah, he's done that, he's done the capacity, he's only done the electrolytics, I mean the disc ones, they never go. So, does that hunt one he hasn't done, which he should have done. Right, so let's have a, let's bring you down a bit. Uh, where's the other remote there it is? Might not be able to bring you down any further, I'll take you up. That's the furthest I can bring you down, let's zoom in.
There we go. Now, now this has still got the original uh, metal rectifier in it. But the point is. Uh, because it's out of the case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in on the Variac and to do that because because I don't fancy, I'd rather do it that way. So what we'll do, we'll make sure, we'll make sure that we've got Right. right, the manual tells us we'll do it with the valves out to start with. Put my phone up there out of the way. Uh, let's get the manual. Right, the manual tells us the manual tells us that we want to see. 220 volts on the uh, on the output so we want to see 220 volts on the output of the metal rectifier so that's what we're going to be looking for so we'll turn the variac on turn the record player on well the amp on no valves in it. Now meter. We'll bring it up slowly and we'll see what the voltage is. Because we want to see. Right, I'll try and put the meter where we can all see it. There we go. Still can't fucking see it. There we go. So we'll put that in the, in the ground. There we go, we'll stick that in the ground. Right? Shut up, scraps! And connect that to live. I'm not happy with that. Let's try and prop this fucking thing up. Try and prop this up so we can see it. I weren't happy with that, apart according to that. According to that there was nothing coming off the rectifier, but I know there is. Alright. 
Oh hang on, I know what I've done. You dopey bastard. Turn the wrong fucking plug on. Well, we're getting 29, 30 volts there. Well, we're getting, we're getting two twenty, we're getting the two twenty volts. So two, so that, that's working. Right. So we're getting the so. Yeah, we're getting the 220 volts that we, that the manual says we should get, so that's working. So there's no need to mess about with that. So that tells me the power supply is okay. So I want to look at. So it's resistors really. Are we drained off here? So basically what we need to do is look for, basically we need to just look for bad resistor, I think, I think it's a bad resistor because unless he's put one of these fucking caps in the fucking wrong way around which I'm going to double check all that now because it is possible, we've all done it. So let's have a look at the bottom, let's have a look at the circuit. Uh, we've got one here. This ground is going to ground, so that'll be right. So uh, it's all over there. And This ground is going to ground, so it's probably right. Right, since he has done the recap, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the resistors. Just make sure this is fucking dissipating enough. So, let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah. Let's put it on the homes. Have a look at the does it show your bottom side view of the chassis it should do. So I can look 
can work out. Should show you the top and the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom side. Can't really glean much from that though. Under view of chassis. Top view of chassis. Yeah, you can't really glean much from that. Right, so basically, you can't get any much information from that. Right, it does tell you the component positions though. So, R2 for example. R2 is this one here. And it should be 100k. Four meg. Where's that other one there go to? Goes to there. The valve. Oops. So you better basically. Some of them you can just compare. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that's a hundred K. Two point two K. That's not right. there should be 100k and that's 127 so that's well out that's 127k that one should be 100k so that's and your volume control as well so that could affect it now let's check this next one Four K one nine four one nine four. Come back to that one in a minute. Let's test this fucker here. Fifty 
55 by 8. Fifty six point eight. Now, so far, I'm concerned about this one here because it's reading one hundred twenty seven K, and it should be a hundred K. So, where's my dipper? Where's my fucking dipper? Yeah. There it is. Couldn't find me dipper. There we go. Be nice if this fella's just overlooked a resistor, folks. But well, that 127, that's uh, 127k, that's definitely high so it needs to be replaced I mean I mean if I find the fault nice and fast that'll be nice but what I want to do I want to take this ow out of the way. Is there anything on the other side of that resistor now? No. That's on the input that resistor. You might not think that might make a fucking difference but it will. If it's on the fucking input. It fucking will. Hundred and twenty nine K and that should be that's nearly hundred and thirty K and that should be a hundred K like this one here. That's ninety four point eight K which is good enough. So it's that fucker there we need to look at. Yeah, because yeah, that goes to the input. Yeah. What's the input here? It's to the input. So if that's fucking... If that's gone out of tolerance... Then that's gonna throw the whole fucking shooting match out, isn't it, folks? Eh? Obviously. So that's out. Of, that's out of spec. So that can be replaced. So let's let's just. There we go. So what we'll do, we'll find. Whew, bear with me while I go to the stash and I want to make a brew as well folks and I've been up all night you know I've had no sleep I've been up I, woke, I went to bed at 10 o'clock I went to bed at uh, went to bed about half set about half eight last night and I woke up at two o'clock this morning and I've not been to bed and I've had a shower and everything and I'm fucked but we have to get the jobs done but don't worry about me being tired folks I'm still capable uh, yeah. I mean the guy who's done in here what he's had to do he's done the capacitors these two here these here these just done like four, four capacitors but uh, you know on hearing that I wouldn't have paid him I'd have told him to get to fuck but there again, that's only me. 
Anyway folks, I'm going to uh, go through the stash and find 100k, that's a good one. Be back in a minute. It is pissing down folks, I've just had to run out and bring my chairs in. My garden chairs, because they've got fabric on them for the seats and I don't want to get in wet. So I've just had to rush out and bring them in. Anyway, we're... Uh, just get me meter leads. Why are you fucking meter leads? I always end up tangled. It's shit. There we go. That'll do. Now, check this one is 100k. Ninety-eight point two. That looks fucking good enough. All right. So what we'll do, we'll what we'll do, we'll try the amplifier again in a minute. We'll put this hundred k in, and we'll try the amplifier again. Move all this out of the way. But. Have to snap that. I'm gonna have to cut that. Ain't gonna get that out. Yeah, they'll all be complaining now, folks. There we go. They'll all be moaning now that it's raining. And a couple of days ago they were all moaning it was too fucking hot though we said oh we need this and then they'll be out here fucking hell it's raining well tough shit I suppose hmm snip that there and just yep Uh, get me little whirly gig pliers, as I call them. Where's me little pliers, me? I've got these pliers here, folks, and I call them me little whirly gig pliers. Uh, they're for... I'm not sure what they're for. I think they're circuit pliers or some description, but they're great. Look at that. They're great for putting J-hooks in things. Brilliant for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that like that. I'm going to... Up there for a second. Yeah, the solder fairy hasn't took me fold my solder this time, folks. He's left it. She's left it for me. Normally takes me solder, me solder fairy. Yeah, Jay thought she'd paid him a visit one night, but she hadn't. Solder this resistor in. Lovely. Do you know I pride myself on my soldering? I've got fingers like a surgeon. You just ask the, ask the women. Ladies, they'll tell you. Wrap that one round there. And push it down. There we go. We can try the amp again in a minute. I'm not saying this has fixed it. Could I really get that lucky? But I know for a fact it's fucking Mm. 
final. Turn it around, there we go. Oh, I need a bit of solder. Look at this. Hold that with that for a second. Make sure no shorts in. No, we're okay. Let's pop the valves in. Where did I put his valves? Are these them? Yeah, ECL 83s. Two dirty monkey looking at ECL 83s. There, the fuckers. Alright, so I'll push them back in. We'll see. Make sure this is all, make sure there's not behind it. There isn't, make sure. Leads to the meter not behind it, so they can't fucking dig in anywhere and cause a problem. No, oh, they're okay, we're alright like that. Uh, make sure that this is not shorting anywhere, just. There we go. No, we're okay. So we'll stay on the Variac because I want to do it that way yeah. it's back on voltage I don't need to measure the voltage going in. I'll check all these components on the top as well. But I want to just see if this improves the input, uh, the, the output rather. Nope. Still nothing. Still nothing. Now let's see. See if it pulls. Are we, are we on voltage? Yeah. Let's just put that there, will it? These capacitors, these components on the top here. I mean, there's a hunt there. Two, zero point two UF. Let's check that hunt. See if it's short. Let's just put the remote under there. There we go. 
Now let's see these ones are usually foot anyway, so it's got to be replaced. Going on. Put on voltage uh, ohms. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I will replace that, but I'm not going to do it just yet. But I will replace it. But I'll just solder it back in for now because I know that's not the fault, but I'll mark it to be it means I've got to stand up and I don't want to stand up. See, the other thing is, you see, the valves could be faulty, but a lot of them it could even be. I'm soldered on that fucking capacitor. I mean, the valves could even be, there could even be a faulty valve. testing them. The only way I've got a tested faulty valve is replacing them, I don't have a valve tester. Right, so that's sold back in. Right. Five point three K. This is your treble, and this is your base. C9, it's got to be that fucking onto one there. I was feeling that it could be that fucking this one, but I don't think it is. Because I'm looking for a fucking point, uh, point two, point zero, is it? Point zero two UF. Point zero two. It's fucking raining. See what it's drawing with the valves in. Didn't check that, did I? See what it's fucking pulling with the valves in. It might be fucking the fucking wreck. It could be foot. Let's loosen that fucking bulb. It's doing me foot. It's too fucking bright. Now what I'll do? I'll, I'll go straight to the output transformer. Oops. I'm going to 
five volts. Twenty five volts. Twenty five volts, folks. Twenty five volts. Alright, twenty five volts. We're getting twenty five volts with the uh, with the valves in. Alright, so we're getting twenty five volts with the valves in. So we've either got a bad valve or a bad fucking rectifier. And the rectifier could be causing it. All there, and there should be 12 volts there. Oh no, negative that, isn't it? There's fuck all there. 24 volts. Right. 24 volts, folks. Let's have a cup of tea and I'll find a suitable rectifier to put in there. But uh, that's the issue, there's 25 volts. Fucking 25 volts. It's either got a bad valve or there's a fucking recce problem. Pause this a minute. I'll bring you back in a minute, folks. Hi, folks, and welcome back uh, to the uh, the Bush SRP 31C. Now, what I've done here, what I've done, the uh, I, try, I, try, I managed to do what the original engineer, so called engineer, was supposed to do. I managed to find I managed to find the fault and you can't see the fucking meter there can you uh, let's put it can't see the fucking oh you can see it there right uh, basically what it was uh, the rectifier was fucked and there's hardly no volume and no bass response and very little treble response, which is a common sign on these when the rectifier's foot. Would imagine it's a common sign on most things. Anyway, uh, what I've actually done, I've uh, I'll just show you here quickly. Uh, what I've done, I've got it on the variac at the moment, but the variac's turned up full. Now I've got the resistor here. Going in from the red wires going into the circuit, and we've got a diode here. 
I've put one of these in it. Uh, an NS uh, uh, S. This is. Uh, I don't think I don't think the NS means anything. It's an ST three thousand. 3008 or 308 anyway that's what I've put in because it's a big meaty diode and it'll take this it'll probably take the stick it's going to get anyway so basically what I'm going to do now I'm going to connect uh, I'm going to I'm going to connect the oh yeah I've got to give him his tea I'll give him his tea in a minute all right before I do that I'll just show you this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the meter, as you can see, in a minute, son. Oh, there we are, that's better. Go on, down, down, out. I said in a minute, wait, out. Bloody hell. Anyway, uh, that's reading six points of volts there. It's probably what's left in it. Now if I hit the power, right, we're up 300, but we'll come down rapidly, I hope. There we are. There we are, we're coming down rapidly. And we're settling, the circuit wants 220, wants 220 but... The manual says 220, but we're at, we're at 227 there, and uh, I don't think 7 volts will make much difference. If I get the prodder, there we are, bags of fucking, bags of hum there now folks, uh, that's now working as it should. Uh, what I need to do now is uh, leave it to run for a bit and uh, see how we go but uh, I did actually put one diode in and I tried it and it actually burnt the diode out not straight away uh, let me switch it on about twice three times and then on the third time I think it was it killed the, di the diode went short and it started to burn the resistor up. Uh, but what I've done, I've put, uh, I think it's a just over a hundred ohms resistor in here. And we've got the voltage down that far, look at that. And, uh, you know, that's not bad that. Because it was at 100, nearly 140 volts. Uh, it was a lot higher than what it was. I can tell you what it was actually because I can put it on here. Two hundred and thirty four it was, but we've got it down to two hundred and twenty six. Or oh, thereabouts. So, that's it. I'm uh, just making sure that the uh, dial doesn't uh, doesn't go funny again. I mean, I'm making sure I don't get because it was a there was a, a rustling sound before. I think that was because it was a loose valve because that isn't there now. But if I jiggle this valve, it's not not doing it now but it, but it stopped when I started jiggling the valve see I always measure 
at the output transformer because it's safer uh, you're further away from the mains and the output transformer gets full rail voltage so what you get here and here you also get here down this red wire and yeah I think that's uh, let's give it the buzz test I mean I can hear that through the speaker I couldn't hear that earlier let's give it the buzz test let's put it on the put it on the input Well, some should drop off. Because I'm really making the amplifier work, you see. But uh, what I want to do now, I want to feel that diode, see if it's cold. Let's turn the power off. And I also want to make sure that everything's dissipated before I touch that fucking diode I mean the resistor's going to be hot you expect that, let's pull the plug out to be safe Do you know something? You can even touch that resistor. It's hot, but you can actually touch it. It's not bad. Uh, and the diode's staying cold. Right, I'm going to go and give uh, little fella his tea, folks. I'll be back in a minute. Do you want to see? Come here. Let's let's let everybody say hello to you, son. Oh, look. Yes. Let me just turn the camera around. There we are. Well, look at the size of my tits. You know, I've got more tits than most women. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh. Come here. They can't see you. Can't see you. It doesn't go low enough. Doesn't go low enough. Oh, what a shame. Doesn't go low enough. Let's get it back on me. Come here. Oh, hang on. Hang on, it might actually. I need to zoom out. Yeah. see your face yeah it won't go any higher anyway folks I'm gonna go and forgive him his tea uh, look at that glare on my head that's because I've got the fucking what do you call it on uh, get this back down there there we go right get this back to how I had it set up Right, I'm going to go and feed him folks, so I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee and probably sort my tea out while I'm at it as it happens. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit folks. Hey folks, I've put the diode and the resistor uh, more permanently. I've got the diode here. And the resistor's here. Should be okay. Hopefully. Now we're going to go bring the Veriac up and what we'll do, we'll put back onto the, whoops, get that mains out of the way. Don't fucking mains near the fucking output transformer, do we? 
I mean, they're, they're isolated, but you never know, do you? I mean, why take the chance to stick them under there out of the way? Right. We've got 9.6 volts there already. Oh, hang on. Now, wait for this to fully warm up. We're conducting a canary humming. <laughs> Got me finger on the solder now. And that's the input there. There we go. Bit of the valve sockets are a bit dirty. But we're on 27 volts, so 227 volts, 226. Like I say, the circuit calls for uh, a bit less than that. Uh, the circuit calls for 200, 220. But we're only, we're only, we're, 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 only, we're only six or seven volts over. That won't make a difference, I wouldn't have thought. Anyway, but the capacitors are all rated at 400 volts anyway. Uh, at least he put the capacitors in that were rated at the right value. Just a shame he didn't finish the job and do the rectifier as well. Uh, uh, Stephen Sylvester, his uh, name is, uh, from what the customer told me. Anyway, I'm going to leave that on for a bit and I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to leave it on and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, St yeah, Stephen Sylvester his name is and uh, he shouldn't be allowed near uh, this kind of thing because he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, I've had to come. I've, I've had to come and do repair after him. So, you know, uh, I mean, if I had to do that, I'd give up. If I had to uh, thingy, I'd give up. I think, folks. Anyway, uh, we, we've got that. Uh, we've got that done. Uh, the the valves are happily glowing away. Uh, So, I'm going to call it Amplifier Fixed. This is part one. Uh, this is the end of part one. Uh, amplif the amplifier is fixed on the, uh, the Bush uh, SRP31C. Anyway, folks, join me next time when I have a look at the uh, lovely old garage deck that's in there. Then I was supposed to have serviced that, but uh, the automatic mechanism doesn't work. It did, but it failed uh, when he brought it here. We checked it here and it didn't work, so uh, that's uh, another thing I need to look into. Another one of his repairs I have to come back and do. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. More to come later. Bye for now.